welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review and demo of the Estee Lauder 15 hour stay double wear foundation. I nipped into John Lewis over the weekend and picked up a sample of this foundation. The lady colour matched me to the shade Desert Beige. So it looks like this. And I also picked up a sample of the Illuminating Primer as well. I always, always wear matte primers. So you just get a tiny little bottle like this and I'm literally just gonna pop it on and see how we get on. I've literally been dying to try this foundation for the longest time ever, but I've always worn MAC Studio Sculpt in an NC37. So this is quite a big deal for me trying something new. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pop this on as usual with my Real Technique sponge. We're gonna see how it, how, how it holds up during the day and then I'll be back later on to give you guys an update this evening and we can have a look and see how it holds up. So if you like the sound of this video, stay tuned and if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below as well if you haven't already and uh, yeah, let's just get straight into the video. Okay, so I'm just gonna start off by popping the illuminating primer on. I'm just gonna literally apply it to the back of my hand so that I can see how much I'm putting on. I don't want a ton. So a pea size amount just on the back of my hand. And then I'm just gonna put this on using my fingers because that's the way that I usually put my primer on. So let's give it a whirl. I'm really worried about trying A, a new primer anyway, and B, the fact that it's illuminating because my skin it's kind of combination skin, so some days it will be dry, other days I will seem to go oily really quickly, especially around my head, um, eyebrows, sorry, and down my nose. So it's going to be interesting to see how this one holds up, but I'm excited to see. It's really, really smooth. The consistency of this is not, it's not, it feels almost greasier compared to like the mattifying primers that I've used before, and it doesn't feel silicone in the slightest. Some of them do. And I feel like when I apply foundation over the top of them, it just makes it sort of slip. Okay, so this is literally going on like a dream, which is nice. I can definitely see that it's making my face a lot shinier at the minute. I've got, for some reason this morning, I've woken up and I've got a red patch here, which I think you can see. And I've got some sort of little patches down here. Around my nose is quite red as well this morning for some bizarre reason, so hopefully this foundation will cover those. That has soaked into the skin really, really quickly as well, so that actually, this side is obviously still a little bit tacky, but this side is dry already, which is fantastic. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the foundation with my Real Techniques sponge as usual. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply the foundation to the back of my hand. It's really, I expected this, because, just because of the fact that it's called double wear, I expected it to be really thick. This is actually quite runny, I don't know if you can see. It's starting to run down my hand. So that's nice. I have to be careful the way that I'm gonna hold this mirror now as well because I don't want the foundation to run off me. And I'm just gonna literally apply this the way that I always apply it. So I normally just start with my eye and just work it across my face. Okay, so I can't get over the consistency of this foundation. I genuinely thought it was gonna be super, super thick. Um, a bit like the MAC Studio Sculpt, I expected it to be of the same sort of consistency, but it really isn't. And for that amount, I mean, that was quite a fair amount that I've just popped on my hand, but I feel like it hasn't gone that far. So let me just get some more. Okay, so I know that this foundation is also supposed to be medium to high coverage and it's supposed to be buildable as well, which is good because I'm all about that full coverage foundation. I've literally just got out of the shower as well, so that would be the reason that my hair looks like this. It's not really a good look. It looks almost to me as if it's caking up already around my lip. Which is strange. I definitely feel like I need to build this up though because I don't feel like the coverage. It may be the light, but I don't feel like the coverage is that great to be honest. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back in with the second application because like I say I don't feel like the coverage is amazing and I feel like I'm using a lot of this product as well 
colour wise I'm actually really happy with the colour of it though it's not too dark and it is light lighter than my um, usual MAC foundation so that's always good I just I think because I expect it to be super high coverage and I know that it isn't I know that you have to build it up and work at it but I just feel like I'm having to use a lot of the product and it's taking me forever I definitely feel like it's caking up. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera around my face. It may be because also I'm not used to using a primer that's illuminating. I'm really, I am used to using a matte primer and having just a full coverage foundation on the top of it. So my face will always be quite matte. Whereas this to me looks quite dewy and illuminating, which makes a change. So maybe it will grow on me. I just want to make sure that I've actually got it all around my hairline. Okay, so that's the foundation on. I am going to pop off, pop the rest of my face on and come back when I've done so and let you guys see what it looks like. Um, I can already see that it is really illuminated and because I'm used to using such full coverage foundation that's matte, this is probably going to take a little while for me to get used to. So I will see you guys in a minute once I've put the rest of my face on, dried my hair and I look a little bit more like a human being. Okay guys, so I have finished putting my face on. The sun has come out to play as well, so it's kind of interfering with the light a little bit. Hopefully you guys can still see this. I'm actually really impressed with how it looks. I've done my normal makeup routine that I would do every day. Um, I tried not to put too much powder on because I didn't want to take the powder. I didn't want the powder to take away, sorry, from the actual illuminating primer, so we will see. Um, like I said before, I still feel like it's caked up around my mouth. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera. The sun's come out as well, like I said, so it's kind of a little bit all over the place. Um, yeah, yesterday I didn't have a moustache. I definitely didn't have a moustache. Today I do look like I've grown one overnight. So we'll see how that holds up during the day. I imagine that this is the area that's going to cause me problems, but we will see. So I've got a busy day anyway today. I need to quickly clean the apartment before we nip out this afternoon and I'm going to be running around all day. So I'll obviously come back this evening, give you guys an update as to how I think it's held up. But before I shoot off, I want to have a quick look at the claims online. So I've quickly pulled up the Estee Lauder website. And it looks like this foundation is currently available in 44 different shades. So I think that's pretty good, 44 shades. And they literally range from the whitest porcelain colour that I can see to um, women of colour, obviously, really dark skin tones. So that's amazing. Okay, let's just have a quick look at the product details as well on the website. So it claims that this is the UK's number one foundation with 15 hour staying power. Flawless all day, this worry-free, long wearing makeup stays fresh and looks natural through heat, humidity, non-stop activity. This is probably going to be put to the test today because like I say, I've got a really busy day so I'm going to be running around like a mad person all day. Um, probably wouldn't test this out by wearing it to the gym, probably look a bit stupid rocking up at the gym with a full face of makeup on, but hey ho. So, feels lightweight and comfortable. Now the flawless look you see in the morning is the look you keep all day. It does feel lightweight at the moment. Like I said earlier, it doesn't, because the consistency is so thin, I feel like it doesn't actually feel as cakey as my MAC foundations. The light has just gone super crazy. The sun, it's the sun, it's the sun. If I, um, yeah, I was gonna move, let's not bother. So, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens in this area. Um, but apart from that, I mean, I'm quite happy with it. It has sort of sink, sunk into a couple of my fine lines that are here on my forehead. I can see that already. But let's give it a go. We'll see how this holds up. And I'll be back later on this evening to give you guys an update as to how this foundation has lasted. So stay tuned and I will see you later on. Hey guys, I am back. It is currently 10.40pm. So I'm absolutely knackered. Um, I literally was just about to wipe my makeup off and I remembered that I needed to quickly run back and film um, my review, if you like, of the foundation. So I'm talking a little bit quietly because Lucas is in bed and I do not want to wake up that monster. So having a quick look at the foundation now, it actually looks pretty perfect and I am actually really impressed with it. I thought that the area around my mouth, like I said earlier, was going to be a problem today because of the fact that it was starting to cake up around my lips. So I actually went ahead and put some Fix Plus on this morning before I left because I just wasn't happy with the way that it looked. So I put some Fix Plus on, um, just literally left that to dry and it looks absolutely fine. So I've had this on since, what time was it this morning? About half ten-ish. Um, so that's, what is it now, half ten. So yeah, that's 12 hours. 
and I'm still really happy with it. Um, I think the lighting's a little bit off because it's dark outside, obviously, just with the time of day, but everything looks quite good it literally just looks how it did this morning when I actually put it on I haven't touched up anything I've not put any powder on today I've not done anything at all with my face and um, my lipsticks obviously come off um but yeah I'm actually like I say I'm actually quite impressed with it I don't think the illuminating primer is for me that I will say that only because when I went out this well this afternoon I felt like my face was shiny just because like I said earlier I'm used to it being so matte that was a little bit strange and it was a bit difficult to get used to. So tomorrow, I am going to try it out again tomorrow. Well, I'm just going to use the normal Benefit Professional. I'm not going to use any other sort of primer or anything underneath the foundation. So I am interested to see how that works tomorrow. Um, apart from that though, like I say, no complaints. Um, somebody did ask me today if I was wearing a different foundation. They didn't actually say, oh, it looks better or oh, it doesn't match or it doesn't look great. So I'm not entirely sure. I should really have asked the question, shouldn't I? But I didn't. Um, so somebody did actually notice, but I mean, it, it does not surprise him because I've been wearing the same foundation for so long that it is literally not surprising that somebody would notice if I put something different on my skin. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys found this review helpful. I think base, well, dependent on how it goes with the normal primer tomorrow, it's highly likely that I am going to go out and purchase an actual bottle of um, the foundation because obviously I used a sample this morning, I'll be using the sample tomorrow as well. So um, once I have tested it, I will literally come back um, and leave a comment in the comment section and let you guys know how I feel about it once I've used the different primer. So like I say, hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and leave me any comments down below as well. If you've used this foundation and you love it, let me know. If you've used it and you hate it, again, let me know. If you have any tips on how to apply it without it going cakey around, certain areas give me a shout in the comment section and let me know because that would be super helpful for me um hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video